So we're not gonna name names, but someone decided to turn off a light and not turn it on for several days. So now I have leggy seed length for some of my scenes, but this gives us an opportunity to look at which ones I'm keeping, which ones I'm starting over, and some things you should look for on whether or not it can be corrected or that seedling is complete garbage. So let's get into it. I wanna start off by saying that there's different parameters for different sorts of plants. But regardless, this first rule applies to all plants across the board. If your lights have been turned off for an extended period of time and you're noticing yellowed cotyledons or yellowing leaves and or some legginess, the really first solution is to turn on that light and to leave it on for an extended period of time. This is particularly true for those cotyledons. It's going to tell you within that first 24 hours whether or not those seedlings are savable. So yellow cotyledons in particular, if you turn the light on and leave it on for about 24 hours, you'll begin to start seeing greening of those cotyledons or the cotyledons themselves, depending on how large they were, are going to be entirely green by the end of it. This is a good sign that this plant is savable. If things are still looking a little wonky, like yellow or light green in some cases, then this is a sign that those cotyledons or that plant is not going to make it or not going to do very well and you may want to start off from the start. Now after you've figured out the leaf color situation, the next thing to look at is what is leggy and what is not and how leggy in particular is it. Let's first look at things like peppers, tomatoes, vining plants that aren't heads, like heads of cabbage, heads of lettuce, that sort of thing. So this applies to a vast majority of plants, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, peas, you name it. And all these plants, relatively speaking, can be saved um, depending on the level of legginess. In an ideal world, a tomato plant would look similar to this one that I'm about to show. I like mine to be really nice and compact. Now I know seedlings you typically see, but shown by people, aren't quite this short and stout. And it's because I do put my grow lights really nice and close because I do not like like a long internode and I like really compact nodes in between. I find personally it really reduces the potential for snapping along with any mechanical damage that can happen through transplanting, staking, you name it. The reason for this is because tomato plants do grow roots on their stem. Now these roots do not come from the hairs, the hairs are trichomes big garden myth there. The roots actually come from the inside of the stem from undifferentiated stem cell tissue and they are the warts, those little warty white things you see on the side. That is a sign of a potential root forming. So, and these roots aren't the greatest at capturing nutrients and water. They're more there for stability. Regardless of that, however, because these roots can form and help with stability, it means that the plant is not lost. You can still help it. And this is only true if the legginess has resulted in a straight stem that may be leaning slightly, but is not twisted. Once you start getting ups and downs and twists and turns and lefts and rights, that's a sign that that tomato plant, pepper plant, whatever the case is, is too leggy and you need to start off from the beginning because that will not produce very good fruit. And overall, it's just a waste of garden space. So as painful as it may be, chuck it in the garbage. <laughs> Trust me, you'll thank me for it later. The other one though is still savable. Now with that being said, if you have a leggy plant, don't immediately go and repot it. It just went through a ton of stress in regards to light and we don't wanna stress it out more by potting it up or putting that root deeper or that stem deeper. What we wanna do is we wanna wait for it to gain some extra leaves. I like the sweet spot around three to five. Now keep in mind, this is not a journal published recommendation. This is just my personal recommendation and I like to put some clarity into that whenever I'm speaking about stuff on my videos because I do reference a lot of scientific journals, but that specifically is my take on when I like to transplant or bump up my tomato seedlings. And the same thing goes for anything that is leggy. So don't stress about it. Don't stress out the plant more by potting up. Just adjust your lights as needed, whether that be putting them on a timer or dropping them down lower, whatever the case is, and then move on from there until it's time to bump up at the appropriate time. And I'll be doing a video on that this year, actually showing you how to apply myco and that sort of thing when you are doing the bumping up process. So stay tuned for that. So the next option are heads. So this would include things that don't have a stem that is above ground that you naturally would see and are things like 
like cabbage or romaine or radicchio or uh, root vegetables, things of that nature. None of these do well when they're leggy, meaning if there's any sign of leggyness, you should really truly consider starting off from the beginning. Now, there may be some forms of savability there. You may be able to transplant them a little bit deeper, but overall they tend to perform really poorly. So these are definitely ones you want to start off from the beginning. And as always, make sure your lights are in check with these because you want them nice and short to avoid a snapping of the stem or really weird inner node placement that ends up in kind of like this leafy green scenario rather than the heads that we're looking for. The way those heads are formed is from intense light. And so because of that, if we are lacking light or we've restricted light in any way, we really do hurt the performance of that plant. And you should truly consider starting those off from the beginning. Herbs are another one where you can actually trim these back over time if they end up getting too leggy and they perform very similar to that of the tomato. Just get the right light on them and they'll turn around relatively quickly. So I hope this helped you out when it comes to leggy plants or yellowing cotyledons. And like always, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, share it because it helps out the channel a ton, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!